skills or can for our students. I, I, uh, I did pretty well here, yes. but yes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not really well here or something like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let me have a look at that one. Because uh, from our schedule, it's supposed to be only one hour, 
from one o'clock to two o'clock, but today we have more time to uh, either have a communication discussion and also sharing from uh, our students and also from our uh, sister school. So later we will have our teleconference with wonderful students mm -hmm. as well as today uh, the student from SMA Liga, Yogyakarta, will join us. It is a very special moment um, to honor your visit, but this sister school relationship and the relationship that Olifan has with Australia at this point is a very important one to us. Um, it started many years ago, as you saw from the history of the moment, and it's at many different levels, the institutional levels, the teachers, and for me as a teacher, the students, that's where the, where the, where the, um, the real interaction happens and really happens. But as institutional connections, it's very exciting. And I have to say, too, that uh, Australia and Warnambul were instrumental in us getting a three-way sister school relationship with our other sister school here in Georgia, as in Matika. So we're very excited about that and very happy to share that with you today. And technology is our friend today, we hope. And we'll bring Warnambul from the center to join our community and our gathering here this afternoon. Yeah, and uh, this year, especially for Olivan, we have a big theme as our uh, goal. Especially later on to be our habit, not only just for one year, but it can be a habit. How we support plastic diet. So this program or this theme also uh, supported by Bordamu uh, College as well as SM Adelika. So this theme is going to be uh, brought during this year and hopefully later on to be a habit. It's been very exciting. One of my responsibilities is to help the students think about their um, impact on the community, both other school communities and local community. And again, our theme this year, as Ms. Deep explained, plastic diet and waste management. The students have been studying all semester about uh, the impact of our habits, our lifestyle habits in the modern world, and the concern that they have for the future of our planet. So, Again, we're honored that you're here today, that everybody have been studying it and are ready to make a pledge about lifestyle behavior change. So. Okay, so welcome to Oliva, to the delegation, and let's give a big applause to the delegation, everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we, will, we, will, uh, we will start our session today. Mm -hmm. So for the first part, we would like to invite Ms. Daisy Adriani and the director of the school to give a speech. Uh, visiting not only maybe Oliver but also Jakarta in general. Uh, 
uh, and also maybe how to uh, see uh, the students not only in our class but maybe also in other school it will be very uh, advantage for us. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you to uh, the Oliphant School for your welcome to all of the students that are here today as well. Uh, this is a very special visit for me. So I'm the uh, Deputy Premier Minister for Education in Victoria. And this is my very first trip to Jogjakarta. Uh, today is my very first time in Indonesian schools. Um, so I'm just so pleased to be here. Um, and our Victorian delegation includes uh, Jenny Atta, who's the Secretary of the Department of Education and Training. Uh, just a couple of things I wanted to mention. Uh, the thing that blew me away coming to Oliphant is how many similarities there are between what you're trying to achieve at this wonderful school and what we're trying to achieve in our schools in Victoria. So coming into the entrance and seeing that board talking about creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, empathy, social engagement. These are exactly the things that we're trying to instill in our schools in Victoria, Australia. And that's just so exciting to see. So my congratulations to you. Um, and, and the reason this is important, I say this to um, Victorian students at our school, the average 15 year old in Australia in their working life will work in 17 different jobs across five completely different careers. So you need to focus, yes, on academic, but you need those problem solving, creativity, entrepreneurial skills, because these will be skills that you will use from job to job. The other thing I wanted to mention is uh, how excited and, and, and glad I am about the partnership, the engagement, the deep engagement between Oliphant School and Warrnambool College in Victoria and that's a deep and long lasting engagement and uh, technology is amazing and we can talk to anyone right around the world um, using technology but what makes the biggest difference I think in terms of intercultural understanding is face to face, building relationships, building friendships and there will be students here that will have friendships with students at Warrnambool um, there will be teachers that will have friendships with teachers and this is how we build a better society. As uh, Nelson Mandela said, uh, education is the greatest weapon to change the world and if we want to change the world about the environment and recycling, uh, it happens with our young people. So my congratulations to everyone. I'm so impressed by this wonderful school and delighted to be here. Thank you very much. closer to us, mm. but still, personal relations, yeah, face to face, uh, direct interaction is very important. So maybe Ms. Sarah, can you share what our students do to create the bonding, not only from, uh, how do you call it, uh, internet or technology, but how we can uh, how build the relationship between Olivan students and Warnambool students. Well, uh, thank you, Ms. Ita, for uh, and thank you, Mr. Molino, for um, because I'm a believer too in the face-to-face. -face. Uh, we've been very lucky to have hosted three different delegations of Guarnamo students over the years. Uh, when they've come, there's they come 25 25 students, five teachers. We have them in host families, which turns out to be one of the most uh, important learning and critical learning moments for both our host families, the families of our students, but also the student themselves because they're living in that 24-7 uh, cultural uh, view and life, life habits. Yeah, And that's so important. Mistakes are made, learning is done. It's just a very exciting time. So that's a very important aspect of, of the visit. But we also have them at school here for a day and the Wernambo students 
bless them, are very patient. They go, every student in Olifant meets at least one of the Bornongo students during the day. They bring stories, songs, culture, sports, and they engage with our students at all those levels, and we have that kind of activity. Our, uh, our students also share at that time uh, our traditional cultures and things, so we, it's a, it's a cross-cultural learning moment. And then in the afternoon, we tend to, um, with their day at school, embark on a thematic thing. And this year it was about uh, intercultural learning, uh, exploring diversity, uh, and building bridges. You saw one of our collaborative art projects in the art room, the Mosaic of Friendship, where students painted together and created this artwork together. Those little moments of where you learn and bridge and are playing and learning together, for me, is where those friendships start. Um, we're also very excited in the classroom. We're still doing, you know, pen pals, which seems like a very old art form, but the students are very excited about it. Um, and we have also, as well, our Skype and inter interconnection. These things, though, wouldn't happen without that face-to-face -face moment of, of where the learning starts. So, um, yeah, and I think, um, I think the amazing part for me is watching the kids, as I say, stretch their cultural muscles. I call it cultural resiliency, where they go into a place where they're not quite comfortable about what's happening, but they're willing to take that risk, and then the, the, the friendship starts. And that's just so exciting. But then there are also these moments where you realize you share so many values together. Uh, in making these pledges and talking about our care for the environment, it, it, it was almost, there was no gap. Right? There was no gap with the 15-year-old Guarnabo student talking about their concern for wildlife and the ocean and the plastics and all those things and our students here at Olive Farm. Um, so it's, it's that moment. And the world is becoming a closer global place. Um, and it is the young people, I tell them that all the time, the young people that the future is in their hands. So very exciting time though. And, um, Again, I hope we can see that the teleconferencing uh, wouldn't happen well if we didn't already have that basis of friendship. So, thank you, Ms. Ita, though, for that. Thank you, Ms. Ita, for the sharing. Yeah. Uh, this year, we start our senior high school. Mm -hmm. So, before we have 7th, 8th, and 9th, and this year we have our grade 10. It is also, uh, what do you call uh, a new uh, challenge for us to have the senior high school, but we believe, like what Ms. Sarah mentioned, that the, the, the future is in their hands. So we believe that our students with the role have to be social children later in the 2030, maybe 2035, 2040, all the world will be in their hands. Absolutely. And again, that, uh, I also agree what Ms. Sarah mentioned. Uh, there are changes in career, there are changes in uh, job, profession, maybe there are uh, profession or jobs that not exist in the past, but there are also many new uh, job or profession uh, uh, exist now, and I believe those students will be excellent in their field. Because all of them, we believe that every student is unique. Every student has their own, uh, what do you call it, uh, multiple intelligence. So we can identify how we in academic and also how they can explore in life skill and character building. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ms. Ita, are we, because we started our program a little early, I'm not sure if our Ronaldo students are online yet. Should we see? Are, are, is that where we're going next or where are we going next, Ms. Ita? Yeah, so uh, today, we will contact the Warnable College. Uh, it's also an honor for us because, because actually they already finished with their school time. Mm -hmm. It's late after, after school. school. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the students uh, they voluntarily to extend to the uh, to school, uh, at school a little bit longer. So it's also uh, an honor for us. Uh, so today we will try to uh, contact Warnable. Michelle is there. Is she there? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I have you have you met uh, Ms. Michelle, who will be our no? Okay. Michelle, Dave Cliff is the principal that we're now. I think you met. Her.
There they are. Hi. Oh, there's Dave. You are there. <laughs> we we weren't sure who was gonna be online because we know it's after school for you all. Yeah. Well, thank you for. You too. Looking good. <laughs> Uh, thank you for staying after hours to be with us. You can see we have um, Mr. James Merlino and his delegation here with us. What an honor. Um, and yeah, many members of our Holy Font community, board of directors, teachers, parents, and all the students. Hey. Hey. Angel, 
Angel is from the seventh grade, and I think she wanted to tell you a little bit about our waste management. So here we're trying to lift our plastic by bringing our own tumblers. And here. <laughs> so we're trying to. Give your plastic bags up. 
um, and then the stores are not using plastic bags anymore. And there is a biodegradable plastic bottle apparently, which is available, and we have not. We need to figure out what that is. We haven't. That's not available yet in Joe's Jeff, but we'll think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Miss Sarah, I think maybe um, this time will be the best time for us to uh, state the place that we have uh, discussed, that, that we have have got share hmm. each other from Oliva, from Whirlpool, and especially from Emma, and also from SM Antigua. So, uh, Misha, are you ready to state the pledge to our students here? Okay, Oliva and Lulu, Misha. Okay. So, I will be the first one. Okay, so everyone, students, please stand up. Can I, can I explain to you? And Ifan, can you please come down? He's going to help us. So I just want to explain where this came from. Um, just we have a um, each of the classes has uh, a lesson weekly, or at least two or three times a month, called community service. And in community service, we've been learning about talking about analyzing our personal plastic footprint. There's a lot of um, websites and technology you can do to do that. And we've been having lots of discussions and prioritizing. So this pledge is a, is a collaboration between the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th grades. And these are their words and their promises. Uh, we, last, last week, we just pulled them all together. So it's a, it's a, it's a new thing that we are helping. And Yvonne, who's a student from the 8th grade, has agreed to uh, lead the reading. Um, the text is over there for anyone who's interested. And Yvonne, the time is yours. Okay, let's read together. Oliver's full page. Plastic diet and zero waste. Our goal. Use plastic waste. Reduce and manage with responsibility. Practice lifestyles which ensure the survival of our planet return to the As Oliver said, we pledge to make lifestyle change to reduce plastic use manage waste for responsibility and raise awareness and influence others to a plastic diet and zero waste campaign. We will reduce plastic products, use reusable personal items, water bottles, utensils, and bags, reduce waste and throw away with care, recycle waste or remake products into something useful, create a campaign Share information to inspire others to join us. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just have to tell you. Oliver. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I have to tell you, it's just a proud moment because we've worked so hard on this and it's so nice to see the students go in public with what they, they want to do. So I'm very excited for, for us in the school. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. How was that? Oh, thank you. We started the environment to work with some of our students on members and they're talking about some changes as well about what they can do to come on and elaborate as part of the environment group. There's a couple of you guys here, come on, come on. You can bring this one in the front, thank you. Yes. I'm going to go back and go. Our local college pledge is as a school community, we will work together to help reduce plastic and increase recycling. Our main goal is to reduce single-use plastic in our canteen, create a food management plan, Introduce tickets to our school and separate waste, recycling, and food waste. How we will do this is be your own cutlery, as well as introduce photo bins and have a new food plan. Amazing.
and uh, seeing the displays and seeing what a deep connection there exists between Warrnambool College and Oliphant School. Um, it's just a credit to both Oliphant and Warrnambool College. So uh, to David, Michelle, and most importantly the students, um, well done on this partnership. Um, intercultural capability, understanding, um, it's, it's enabled by technology what we're doing right now, but this discussion wouldn't exist if you haven't, haven't got that face-to-face, -face, genuine, deep relationship and partnership between educators and between students. So congratulations to you. I've really enjoyed the discussion um, about waste and recycling. Uh, we're all trying to do better um, in, in, our, in our societies. In Victorian schools and Oliphant is frankly leading the way um, here in Georgia Carter. So my congratulations to everyone involved. Um, thank you to the school. I'm happy to, happy to, if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them as well.
be reducing our plastics. And here in Georgia, we're, we're proud that some of the local businesses and restaurants have already taken a similar kind of pledge. They're reducing their single-use plastics and straws and cups uh, and packaging in particular in the delivery of food and the serving of food. Um, there's um, alternative materials being explored in terms of bags and, and baskets and things. Um, it is very interesting because the traditional way of serving food and packaging was all done with banana leaves. And that's why people throw banana leaves on the side of the road or in the river, no problem. Problems have come with the, the change of the materials and our lifestyle hasn't changed. And so over the years, in our throwaway urban culture, we have been adding more and more to our rivers and environment, and we're concerned about that. So, but it's nice to know that others are joining us as well. We're giving them a creative moment to thank, and also a memory and a hope for our students, our teachers, our community, and here in Indonesia. Thank you so much.
uh, proud because this year Olifant can be the initiator for this collaboration event between Olifant and Atiga as well as Warner Society. So hopefully this opportunity will uh, happen more for the frequency and also if the event is discussed later will be uh, more I mean, complex because like uh, what we have, Olifant is the catalyst for innovation and community. We would like to contribute more to the community. Can be community within the school or community outside? Absolutely, the layers of connection and collaboration. We can't wait to host you again. When are you coming back? Okay. 
will do. Uh, hopefully, we still have time <laughs> before it's two o'clock. So thank you so much for the students and also parents for the uh, event today. And uh, later, we will continue our activity. My main purpose of my visit to Oliphant is really to engage with schools in Jogjakarta and um, Oliphant's got a wonderful um, partnership with Warrnambool College, one of, one of the schools in Victoria in which I'm Minister for Education so I really wanted to come and see firsthand one of the things that happen at Oliphant School so I heard about Oliphant from Warrnambool College and I wanted to come visit Jogjakarta and, and visit the school. Anything else? So what, what I found so impressive about Oliphant School is the focus on creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration. These are all the skills that we need to develop in our young people and what's happening here at Oliphant is exactly what we're trying to do in our schools in Victoria because we don't know the jobs of the future, uh, the jobs that our young people will be doing in 10, 15, 20 years, but what we do know is that they need critical thinking skills, creativity, collaboration, empathy, and that's why I'm so impressed by this wonderful school. So you might be wondering what's the height of my class. I might be. <laughs> Uh, we substituted with uh, the plastic and uh, my friend that 